I did uh, 21 and a half years active duty military. In 2008, I was in Basra, Iraq. I was wounded by a roadside bomb. I spent about a year in recovery, continued on my career, and then was asked to medically retire. That separation between active duty and retirement uh, is pretty hard for some. So I needed something to take my mind off of that, and uh, I stumbled across 3D printing. Uh, found out all the good things that could come out of that, and uh, it's been my passion now uh, for, for a few years. So uh, I ended up with uh, the Rostock Max uh, was, was my first, uh, well, my second printer. I needed something with a little bigger volume, uh, something that could print some of this stuff, uh, you know, in one shot as much as possible. And I wanted to learn more about the printer, so I bought a kit, and I built uh, my first printer. For veterans that are looking for things to take their minds off things, there are art therapy and other ways to overcome the things like post-traumatic stress. I'm one of the alumni from uh, Blue Skies, for the good guys and gals. Uh, we're basically an organization that uh, brings in some various combat wounded veterans, Gold Star families, once a year to participate in a couple days of bonding, healing. We do things like jump out of airplanes, shoot guns, but the biggest thing is it's mostly uh, getting them all together uh, for a weekend of, of fun and uh, enjoyment and then building that uh, network uh, that we we, uh, we all use, so. Mostly what I've been doing is a lot of other nonprofits, uh, charities. Spikes Canine Fest, which was an organization founded by Navy SEAL, started making bulletproof vests for police dogs. Warren County had asked me to come out to help their foster children. And I did the Cincinnati Children's Hospital, uh, Middletown Police Department, National Night Out Against Crime. Done them two years in a row uh, as War Machine. Uh, one of the guys, uh, Austin, he's missing an arm, and we were able to print a uh, modified hand so that he can actually shoot uh, a pistol. He has a plan to hopefully compete in the Paralympics, just a variety of things. This is actually, uh, it's been up for silent auction. We're going to put it up again this year for uh, uh, Blue Skies, for good guys and gals. So uh, we'll see all the, all the proceeds go to that organization. And the one thing I, I, I forgot to mention about them is that there is nobody on salary for Blue Skies, for the good guys and gals. So 100% of the proceeds go to bring a warrior in for the weekend.